Oh, hey there, folks. It's Barry's Best Honey, and I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome to Southeast Louisiana, and welcome to another adventure. All righty, we're going to go on down the road here. We're going to go see a new beekeeper. Y'all met Steven back in the video, and I will link it up somewhere along this video uh, of when we work some hives together and he was learning from me uh, in my yard and uh, he has went and he's grown his beehives that he bought from one to two and he wanted to work with me a little bit and he and he had me just kind of tell him how to do splits and he watched us do one and we did one in the video and he got to go home and do his own and you know how it is when you're new just like I was it's like many many of you guys were that may have not grown up in the bee world uh, we're nervous doing a split in your first year is a it's it's a big deal you know to some of us when we were young and new in it I was not young when I started I don't know why I said that but nonetheless it's kind of nerve-wracking you remember those days where we think anything we do might har harm the bees like oh my gosh I painted the inside of this that, you know and as we get older the bees realize you know it wasn't a big deal they're very you know resilient da 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 but splits in your first year when you're still learning you get a little nervous and so uh, we're gonna go see how well he did on his splits he did his splits about I guess a month and a half ago and uh, I think his bees are doing fine and he's doing good he just texts me every now and then shoots me a little video tells me what's going on we confer a little bit and uh, he keeps on keeping bees From what I see in his little clips that he's showing me he's doing just fine his bees are doing just fine but I'll go appease him because I think he's doing great, but I'll appease him. Like, I don't know what I can teach him. He's got it down pat, looks like to me, and he's gonna learn as he goes. Another thing we might do in this video is I'm hoping to go see Rodney and see how that one is doing, the little baby itty bitty tiny swarm. And uh, he gave me a report and sent me a little video clip and they're growing pretty good, I'm hoping. From what I could tell, they look like they were and he's been feeding them and growing them into the uh, boxes so hopefully we'll get to go see that too so we shall see but let's get on down the road let's go down here and meet up with steven and see how his hives are doing all right folks we're out here on the scene we got steven out here y'all remember steven say hey steven to the camera good evening everybody now last time we seen steven he was helping me he's the one that got that hive going for me and y'all seen that hive out there in the, the, the yard in town they're huge um they're doing good They've got two full deeps now, but uh, since then, as I said in the intro, he's already split his hives. Had, it did it all itself, you know. Didn't have anybody come do it. Just followed some instructions they saw on YouTube. Kind of followed what and we did. My, and from Mike, instructions well, from Mike. We, we just <laughs> we just did it out there, and he got to see it. So we're going to take a look. Also, Friday he wants to mark his queens too. So we're going to take a look and see where he stands. So let's let's get busy because we got uh, to get both these hives through and get these queens found and marked. Um, so we're gonna do that. So everyone, he's concerned that they're not doing anything. But the problem is, they're not doing anything for anybody. So it's not just you, Stephen. <laughs> they're oh. not. See here, this is the same thing we've been seeing. In April, we don't normally have to feed to get these to get these full. They draw them out without it. But this April they didn't, and now we're into May. Oh man, that that box is packed. Packed with bees. A box like that in May in Louisiana should be drawing that comb out in a matter of days. If you feed this colony, it'll take a gallon in a day quickly. And it's got some weight. It's got nectar in there. So they're putting nectar in, and they are starting to find some. I will say that in my house, they are for sure. So they're starting to backfill their nest a little bit instead of draw out comb, but not terrible. They still have a. They still have larvae down there. Yep, and there's eggs down there. I can see them from here. A little bit of drone brood sticking out, but then regular brood, so. They're finding some nectar. That one's full. Wow, look at that. That's gonna be a lot of bees and no nectar out there significantly coming in. But they're building like they're something, isn't it? Look at that frame. That is gonna be a ton of bees. <laughs> yep. See her. Another frame full of brood. Good gracious. A couple cups under there. Nothing yeah, unusual nothing. about that. 
Yeah, wow. There's gonna be a lot of bees in there. <laughs> Look at that. It, it's, 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 a, it's a good hive. It's a good colony. Good colony of bees. And this is the one I original from Dirk. Right. It's one of his older frames. And this is the actual queen that came from him too, right? No, this is the new. This is the new queen. Okay, yep. that's right, because it's the old She's hive. She's over there, her, right. right? There's a queen right there. Just saw her. I see her. All right, so we're gonna use a queen catcher. It's not my queen, and I don't think he's ready to start grabbing her with his fingers just yet. So nope. I'm gonna use one of these. I got this last year. I usually used to use a regular clip and or one of those tubes, but we're gonna do this. I don't do it one hand. <laughs> my buddy in Florida actually chopped the head of a queen off one time. So we've got her. Kind of awkward to video that. And this is the new queen. So you got what color for her? Um, he's got close to red. We'll put it that yeah. way. He's not necessarily. I got a pink. I think. Yeah, he's not worried about color necessarily for year. But we are gonna try and do the other one in yellow because she's last year's. But there you go. Now her throat. Just dot her throat. Just touch it. There you go. That's good enough. Let well, her out. Yep. You don't want to keep dabbing it because no. what'll happen? That thing will start dripping some uh, some paint. And next thing you know, get excess. And... Right. We got her out. We can go ahead and look in the bottom real quick. So that's no fuss, no muss, no chance of hurting her. I don't want to hurt his new queen. Um, I've gotten where sometimes I squeeze them and mess them up. And so let's see what we got in the bottom. Kind of the same thing. We got it. They're kind of chimneying up. They aren't drawn the sides, but they only got the the middles drawn. Um, and that's typical of what we're seeing down here this this year. Normally they'll fill those out, but yet they get so populated on these center ones, you you have to put something on the top. And when you do, they chimney up on you and they don't want to draw the outside. So the only way to really fix that is to feed them if you really want to get those foundations drawn out while there's a minor flow coming that they're not going to build with. So. All right, unless you want to keep looking. No, as you got a queen, you know yep. she's laying. I mean, it's a healthy colony. The big thing is, is the amount of food they got. They don't have a lot. So in his case, what I might would do is just weigh the box and maybe feed them one gallon. And uh, a gallon, that'll help them at least draw those frames out, put some stores away, because we just don't know what's going on with the flow. He's in the same boat as me, and uh, they froze over here just as well as we froze. So that's kind of my take on it. So we're going to go through the next one, but I think his bees look good. And she'll come on out. There she went. There she went. Boom. They are growing. They're not going to swarm. I don't see they think they're going to swarm. There's not enough of a flow. They've got a little bit of room left in there. I think it'll push them out a little bit. Um, and so what we'll do is have them feed for, for a, a gallon and go in and look and see if they're drawn. If they are, slap the super on them. We won't let them go too far too long on feed with all that brood coming out because we don't want to swarm it. But the bottom has got mostly eggs, so they still got a long way from being completely brooded out. So um, he's good with that. And she lost all her field bees, but yeah, they're starting to draw it slowly. Or was that like that? It might have been like no, that. It, they've drawn it. Okay, good. They've drawn it because it was all clean. These Let's see what these are. We don't have to pull them apart. I just want to look and see. Yep. This was some drawing that they're working on, though. It's better. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. We'll just put it back together. We don't need to be in here. Good deal. At least they're, they're trying to do something in here. All right. Same exact situation, except on this one, they are coming out here. And they're working on this one, too. So. See, there's a little bit that wasn't here last week. Oh, that's good. There's, there's a little bit of nectar coming in, but it's just so... It's so light compared to what we've ever seen it, me anyway oh wow oh, this is better is that full of eggs yes that's good so she's trying they're all growing there's enough nectar to kick start them a little bit that's why we don't want to overfeed them if we do get a flow look yeah, at that beautiful cool. these are all better so they're full growing good yeah they're growing good into here that's good so this one you may not even have to worry with feeding but we'll see We'll see what kind of food stores they got. There's a little bit of nectar in there. Yep, she's filling it up, filling it up. So she's she's definitely um, pushing y'all along good. 
Yeah, so this one, I mean, they got food lined up in every frame, it looks like, on the tops. And we'll weigh it real quick, too. Now, this one we may not want to feed. It just depends on how heavy they are. Because this one's growing fine. And we'll have what they need. See the nice brood frame she's putting in? All these bees are putting brood in. Mine at home, these here. If you look down at this frame here, it you can't see it, but man, I'll, I'll, I'll dip y'all down there. That's a good brood frame. This one, as you can see, is always to the edge. While it's, it's, those two on the right are almost drawn, or they're half or so drawn. They're starting to draw those, so these bees are widened out a lot, but they don't have a lot of food. It's hard to feed them at this point because you're gonna put a super on them to give them room, so. But at the same time, all this brood coming out, you also don't want to stimulate swarming. It's kind of a fine line we're walking right here with his bees. But his bees look good, and y'all gotta agree, he's done a good job, I would say. She's a stealthy one, y'all see her right there. Okay, there's a perfect spot. Oh man, I ain't got the door open. We're gonna put this on. I'm gonna slowly, without chopping her in two, close her up in there. There she is, she's in there. Think that's enough? Uh, they might rub that off of her, but you know what? I don't know if I'd chance it. We could probably put one more dot on that thorax. All right, go ahead. There you go, that's good. That's enough. That's plenty. We'll make it work. That's plenty. That, that pin is leaking real bad. It dumped all over my box. So we don't want to do a Bruce Jenny on this and make her big yellow instead of big red. And y'all know what I'm talking about that watch his channel. <laughs> Look at him come back up. This is a box of bees here. So we're going to put a little smoke on them let this queen go. There you go. There she goes. Don't let her go out there. Yep. We're gonna do this, play this game. There we go. Lock her down. Go on down. Alright, go get your other box. And I'm gonna watch her. She's gone. Alright, she's good. Okay, we're gonna close them up. Those bees are uh those bees are loaded up in that eight frame. So he's gonna go ahead and put two supers on for now. And we're gonna have him monitor um the weight there's obviously something coming in here because they wouldn't have been triggered like that to grow so we're gonna count on that being what they need to grow and just monitor their weight and put two supers on because it's it's just a fine line right now that's it that's it guys his bees look great i gotta i gotta say he's done a great job so there we go all right hopefully we get to go to rodney's in the same video well hey there folks it's now the 25th of May, many, many days after I did Stephen's uh, hive with you guys. Uh, just did not make it over to Rodney's to check on the little one, but he's been shooting me some small videos. He's getting quite comfortable going in the bees, it looks like to me. And uh, the bees are growing, which is what you expect um, if you're keeping them fed and keeping them going. And just, that's what I asked him to do was uh, best bet for those bees was feed them up. So he fed them up up to a point and I said you could probably quit because there'll be some nectar coming in and there's a little nectar trickling in. We're going to ride over his house and take a look real quick after work. Uh, I want to see where they're at. I want to see how they're doing. I want to get my eyes on them. Um, I'm seeing from a video what he's shooting and these bees are looking good. Let's roll. Alright guys, we are here on the scene of the bees. Of course you know me. But I'm also here with Rodney. Good evening. Good evening. That's Rodney yep. and he does bees now too. <laughs> anyway, we're here at the hive. Y'all seen us set it up. Well, look, it's got a double deep on it. I'll explain that in a minute, but I had him put that on there just in case because his video showed me that these things were going really good. So we're going to open them up and show y'all where they're at since a lot of y'all asked for a follow-up on this colony to see how it did. So let's take a look. Look, these, these bees, he quit feeding them. What, how long ago did you feed them? Last time you fed them? Three weeks. Three weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're, look, they're building in here. We're going to take a look at this and see what... See if the queen has come up here and started working. Now they got a little crazy comb going, but that's the frames. Yeah, this is a, yeah. this is a crazy comb. Wow, this all happened in the last week or so, though, huh? Last week, there wasn't none of that in there last week. 
No. So these frames might have had not had enough wax. That's what happens. We don't have enough wax. But we're going to leave that for now. Because they're storing honey up here. But we're going to have to peel that off. Just there. Yeah, we'll do that after the video. So these bees are exploding. Yeah. This it, is that tiny hive. It wasn't none of that in that last third. Now let's look at this cop. This one. Yeah. Full of nectar. They're loading in nectar. So they get they got nectar coming in up here somewhere. He built his up into that first deep and put this second one on and hasn't fed him at all. Look at that. Yeah. So this is all pure honey. Damn. Good gracious. They have built a lot in the last this is full in of honey. So you got a flow coming in up here. Look at that. That's full of honey. That's the entire. They're going to cap this. So there's no queen up here. We're going to leave it alone. There's a little bit of crazy comb. Now what I will say about these frames you got, I don't know where she got them. Mm -hmm. So uh, the person that had this colony before got these, maybe they came from Hoover or somewhere, and these frames may not be wax, been waxed properly. So okay. what we're gonna do when we're done is we're gonna shake those bees off of there. Okay. And uh, we'll get a bowl and put that comb in and scrape that, and we're gonna move that frame to the outside. Cool. We don't want any crazy comb because you can't manage the hive that well. Yeah. I'll show you. They didn't go all the way to the outside, so they look good. See, we usually won't be on a nectar frame. This is all nectar. Here's your brood pattern. She's a nice one. Uh, again, you can see where the flow just kind of stopped. And he was feeding them to get them through, but they didn't finish these frames. Uh, there is some nectar coming in, so there's no reason to keep feeding them because we're going to end up having to feed them during the dirt just because of how this year is going. Yeah, she's, look at that. Mm -hmm. that's a that's a nice queen she's doing a good job i always get good queens out of that spot drones coming in so you always got to watch for swarming make sure they got plenty of space and they do oh yeah this thing was the smallest swarm i've ever seen i didn't just say that in my title i meant that so she's backfilling this this is already merged out and she's refilling it with eggs they're backfilling a little bit of honey in there but she is backfilled it with eggs so as they emerge She'll go back and put eggs in it. So she's operating out of one brood box right now. You see all this is all fresh larvae and eggs right here? Mm -hmm. That's what all that is. So she, she's done been on this frame and moving over some more. Yeah, we really don't want to take any chance of hurting her. There she is right there. Pull her up, there she is. Yep. All right, folks, here she is. There's the queen and all her majesty. She's doing a fine job. Again, I always get good queens out of that area. Good swarms. This one was small. I knew if it had the chance it would grow and it has. And she's done fantastic. So we're gonna put her back. We're gonna slide these frames back together. And we're gonna take care of that crazy comb. Oh, there you go, guys. We went through Stevens a few days ago and you saw how good his looked. His are exploding. And here we are with Rodney's. There's Rodney. Yeah. Rodney's munching on the honey right now. <laughs> it, it's, that's, that's that crazy that comb. <laughs> so what we're doing is his look great. How many, how many, so you probably fed, how many quarts you think? Not over two gallons. Yeah, so not over two gallons to grow them, to feed them. Y'all seen how small they were? We wanted, we didn't want them to starve. That was what was key. No starvation and grow them at the same time. They have obviously grown. The second box, what you see there is from whatever nectar he's got around. We got yep. elderberry, no tallow. So what do you think about them? Hey, I'm tickled. I, I'm excited over them. I know Mike's the granddaddy of them, I'm the daddy of them. Hey, we, I'm happy. I'm happy they're growing. They, they doing bees. They being bees. Yeah. They doing their thing. That's right. <laughs> they are. So it's it's a good thing. We're seeing a lot of growth. Y'all said it'd probably be a very strong colony. I knew it had good, good genetics out of that area. I've gotten them out of there for a few years now, but I'm glad they're growing, and I think it's going to be just fine. He's probably going to have to feed in the dirt like everybody else, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get them in the winter. We'll get them bulked up for winter, and uh, that's what we're doing. We're raising bees down here this year. All right, guys. Well, look, I'm going to let y'all go. I appreciate y'all joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you don't mind, of course. It's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike. And I'm Rodney. And we do bees. <laughs> y'all have a wonderful, wonderful week. And may God bless you. See y'all later. See you.